Howdy Crystal Conclave, it's Neshi, and this deck ain't big enough for the two of us. But it is big enough for the three of us, specifically Beast, Wing Beast, and Beast Warriors. That's right, baby, this is Crystal Beast Tri Brigade. <laughs> I'm going to be showcasing three different combos, the first of which is actually legal in the TCG, which is why we're not using Zenith for this one. So we're going to go ahead and activate Fractal's effect. Fractal is going to go ahead and dump a kit, which will dump a Nerval. Nerval searches Fractal, which we can then normal summon since we haven't used our normal summon yet. Fractal will banish two beasts, Beast Warrior or Winged Beast from our graveyard to special summon Farragit, the Baron Blossom from our deck. Farragit can special summon Sapphire Pegasus from our hand, and then we can go ahead and use Pegasus's effect. Now we're going to overlay our two level fours into Dugara's the Timeless. So now that Pegasus crystallized another Pegasus, we're going to go ahead and use Dugaris to bring back another Pegasus. So this is why we actually needed a kit engrave, so that we could actually use the effect of Dugaris, because we won't be able to use its effect unless we have a target in the graveyard. So, we're going to go ahead and special summon out our Sapphire Pegasus, reborn it so that we could loop its effect again, and be able to activate Crystal Beacon from our hand. Now, that's going to summon a Ruby from the deck, but keep in mind we can't use it as Link material for the rest of the turn because of Farragut's effect. But, this is pretty sweet. We can, if you want, you can go ahead and summon a Wing Beast instead. You can crystallize a Cobalt Eagle instead of the Sapphire Pegasus, link these into the Samorg Link, and there's just a lot of opportunity right here. Let's go ahead and get into the Zenith combos. So this combo is gonna go ahead and be the bread and butter. Pegasus Fractal. Fractal is going to dump a kit and a Nerval. You really only need the Nerval if you don't really wanna run the kit in this deck. If you wanna run like a minimal Trap Brigade engine, you can go ahead and do that. Normal Summon Fractal use its effect to summon out Farragut, the Baron Blossom from the deck, from our extra deck. She's going to go ahead and special summon Sapphire Pegasus from our hand, crystallizing a Zenith from our deck. And then we can go ahead and use Zenith's effect, special summon Cobalt Eagle, which is a winged beast. Now you see why Crystal Beast Tri Brigade works in the first place, right? Zenith is actually pretty sweet, making Sapphire Pegasus a one card engine. And we're gonna go ahead and link that winged beast and the Farragut into a Samorg Bird of Sovereignty. Farragut's effect is going to activate, letting us draw a card and put our Zenith back on the, or the Rainbow Dragon back on the bottom of the deck. And that's going to let us go ahead and use Sapphire Pegasus another time, Zenith another time. Overlay into Baguska, the terribly tired tape here. Look how tired he is. He's been, you know, doing something on the job. I don't think that's very ethical. But we're going to go ahead and summon that Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds directly from our deck. Now we have a good lock here. Our opponent can't special summon except for wind monsters, and if they try and beat over it, we have Baguska protecting. So they could... Actually, they... Let's go ahead and head into combo number three. So this combo showcases what you can do with Crystal Bond as an extender. You could also apply the same principle to Noble Knight Shield Bearer, the new Sapphire Pegasus Searcher, because it also searches Dynatherium, which is in the level 4 extender. But this is pretty cool right here. Uh, Fractal, we're going to send Nerval to search Kit. Kit is going to activate her effect. Let's say it gets negated. Let's say your opponent imperms or hits the Kit. We're going to use Crystal Bond to add Cobalt Eagle to hand, and then use Zenith's effect to summon Pegasus from the deck. And that's going to give us Rainbow Dragon, so that we can link the Kit and the Pegasus into Farragut the Baron Blossom. Kit's going to activate her effect to send Tri Brigade Rendezvous to the graveyard. Now, Kit's going to special summon the Cobalt Eagle from our hand, so that we can go ahead and link into the Samorg link. Ah, there we go. That's what we we're aiming for. Draw one, put the Rainbow Dragon back, and then in the end phase, Samorg's going to activate its effect and summon that barrier statue. So this is if our Tri Brigade gets negated, we can still end on a protected barrier statue. Wait a second, Neshi, how the heck is this barrier statue protected? Well, Rendezvous protects it one time by banishing it from the graveyard. If a linked beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, 
which means that this linked monster would be. You can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Very cool kit. I love it. Let's go ahead and go into this deck profile, and I'll share with you my thoughts on Crystal Beast Tri Brigade. So here's the deck profile. You'll notice I split things up into the Crystal Beast stuff in this third, the Tri Brigade cards in this third, and the defensive cards, other cards, miscellaneous in this third. So let's go ahead and go over to the Crystal Beast cards first. Three Sapphire Pegasus and two Zenith. So Zenith, I've said this before, I like two Zenith for combo decks and then three Zeniths for slower control decks where the special summon from hand effect actually can come into play. But for combo decks, this is fine with one Rainbow Dragon, especially because we could recycle with Ferret, just fine. We have the one Cobalt Eagle as our one Winged Beast target for Samorg, and for searching out Sapphire Pegasus, we have three Noble Knight Shield Bear. This is the new Sapphire Pegasus searcher that unintentionally just searches out Sapphire Pegasus. We don't know why, but we're blessed nevertheless. We have three Rainbow Bridge to search out our one Crystal Bond and one Crystal Conclave. So this again just searches out Sapphire Pegasus, but what's neat about Bond is it basically lets Pegasus get negated and we can still pretty much pop off. If Pegasus gets negated, we just bond, play Zenith, and it's basically the same thing. You know, Crystal Beasts are moving farther and farther away from wanting to crystallize everything and closer and closer to just Sapphire Pegasus being a one-card engine. And that's what's really neat is Crystal Bond actually acts kind of like a call by the grave, you know? If something gets hit, you have a way to extend from there. Not only does Rainbow Bridge search Bond, but it also searches Crystal Conclave. Now unfortunately, since we're not running as many Crystal Bond as we used to, since Sapphire Pegasus is just the mainstay, Crystal Conclave is kind of the fallback. You know, if everything else fails, we can at least stick a Conclave if there's another Crystal Beast up on the field. But you don't want to search Conclave when things are going right. Okay, so like, if you're using Sapphire Pegasus and say you do end up using the bond and you normal summon Pegasus and everything goes through, you will have an extra Pegasus in your spell and trap card zone. That's true. And then you could search out the Conclave. But, you know, other than that, that's if things go perfectly, perfectly right. But if things go right and you really just have the Sapphire Pegasus, then that you're not searching out that Conclave because you're not going to have a face up Crystal Beast monster on the field. They're all going to be in the grave. So, it's just there when things do go wrong, and you know, you just gotta search a Conclave for disruption. You can definitely cut this though, I can see that. We have the one Rhoda and the one Heritage of the Chalice to search out Noble Knight Shield Bear. So, these are hard ones per turn, that's why I wanted to run them at one. You know, I know it's a 50 card deck and you wanna see these cards, but honestly, we're really close to hitting a critical mass of just Sapphire Pegasus. So we could add the two more Crystal Bond and the two more Chalice for four more Pegasus in the deck, but this is already three, six, nine, twelve Sapphire Pegasus in our deck, which is still pretty insane. You know, a lot of decks don't have that. Plus Prosperity on top of that, and Phantasme, you know, there's not a whole lot more you could say. <laughs> we have the Neos Fusion with the one Elemental Hero Neos. This is our OTK package. So you can run it with uh, Dynatherium too, which is also searchable with the Shield Bear. So that's why I like running Dynatherium with Shield Bear. You can cut it down to one if you'd like. But as long as we have Rainbow Neos, we can make Dugaras as well. So we make the Dugaras, boosting up the Rainbow Neos to 9,000. Neos contribute off the Dugaras or the Verte Anaconda. Shuffle your opponent's monsters so you can attack 9,000 directly. That's pretty sweet, something that Lyraless Tri Brigade doesn't have access to. You know, something like Baguska and Dugaras, which I think is pretty sweet. You could also run Lightning Chidori and Abyss Dweller, other rank 4s, but this extra deck is honestly pretty tight. I wanted to keep it pretty toolbox since we are still running Pot of Prosperity. So that's pretty much it for the Crystal Beast cards. As far as the Tri Brigades, it's all pretty self-explanatory. Three ofs of everything, including the Keras because we are running a lot of Sapphire Pegasus, like I'm saying. So Keras is actually going to proc its effect pretty often. We're running three Tanky to search for the Fractal, and we're running Foolish Burial as a way to start off our engine. You know, we can Foolish the kit, and that's a starter right there. We have the Rendezvous to dump with kit. We have the Revolt, which is searchable, 
with Tri Brigade Bear Bloom. So this recycles everything. But honestly, you could cut the Bear Bloom and the Revolt if you want to, but it's just a way to get everything back. So I think that's pretty cool. It's like a Union Scramble, if you'd like to think of it that way. The one barrier statue of the Stormwinds to summon off of some Morg. We also have the Apex Avion in our side deck. So if you want to main deck the Avion, you sure can, but I don't really see a sense of doing that, especially because it's only really good going first. Like going second, you could side out the storm winds for the Avion, and that's pretty much the same thing. You know, you don't really want a floodgate going second. That's never a really strong idea. We're running three Ash Blossom as our defensive card, three Fantastical Dragon Phantasme as a pretty great draw card, one Called by the Grave because it's at one, and we want our combos to go through. Side deck could really be anything you want. I especially like Forbidden Droplet because uh, Zenith adds Rainbow Dragon for free, and that's a free Forbidden Droplet. So if you're not able to go into Farajit, that's another way that you can gain free value. But Farajit's a fine way of gaining value off of that Rainbow Dragon, which is one thing that's really sweet about Crystal Beast Tri Brigade. It's able to take advantage of that, and some decks just can't. Um, this extra deck looks very similar to Bird Up. You may recognize a lot of these cards. Yeah, this is the deck profile. Just my final thoughts on it. I honestly don't think this is stronger than Lyraless Tri Brigade. I, I admit it, this is a worse version of Lyraless Tri Brigade, if I'm being honest. Just because the whole deck, uh, the Lyraless just seem like they want to be used with the Tri Brigades, right? It's such a well-oiled machine, but... Crystal Beast, they're kind of slipping into that niche of Sapphire Pegasus being a one card anything, but, and they have so many searchers for it too, so it might just look more like a zoo deck for Crystal Beast, but as we know, zoo is best without Tri Brigades. You know, Tri Brigade Zoo is just something that people like experimenting with, but it's honestly just not as good as the pure version, especially not as good as Zoo Lich. So, this is the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you liked these combos. Try this deck out for yourself. It has some OCG tops, and that's kind of where I base this list off of. Obviously, we're adding in the Shield Bear and the two other cards that search for it. Phantasma is just a card that I really like. <laughs> but this is uh, a really fun deck. I think you'd have a lot of fun with the lines that come with it, but like I said, it's just not as unique compared to Lyraless Tri Brigade. I think Lyraless Tri Brigade, aka Bird Up, is just the better version of this, but I mean, this one does have rank 4 access, so it is that going for it, but thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more Crystal Beast combos, and join the Crystal Beast Discord so you don't miss out on the Crystal Beast conversation. I'll see you all in the next video.